Celebrities and events are being held throughout the holiday weekend, marking the 100th anniversary of one of the worst acts of racial violence in U.S. history. NBC's Antonia Hilton is in Tulsa for us. Antonia, good morning. Good morning, Tom. There have been events here all through the weekend, part of the Black Wall Street Legacy Festival. And while people here are hoping that renewed attention brings change, there are tensions throughout the city that's still coming to terms with what happened here. This morning, a solemn anniversary for the city of Tulsa, where a new memorial now commemorates the 1921 race massacre. Residents and supporters marking the moment with a march this weekend and gathering with two of the last known survivors in the place once known as Black Wall Street. Exactly a hundred years ago, a white mob descended on the affluent black community, killing an estimated 300 black Tulsans and destroying almost every home and business in the 35 block area, turning entire families into refugees. And 100 years later, people are coming back home, descendants from everywhere, and so we call this homecoming. That homecoming bringing moments of reflection and sharpening the push for accountability. No one has ever been held responsible for the attack. The way to heal America is the reparations for the Tulsa descendants of this massacre. We are not afraid to stand firm on what we believe and demand better for our community. Tonight, there will be a candlelight vigil marking the start of the massacre. And tomorrow, President Biden is expected to travel here. Tom? A lot of work still to be done. All right, Antonia Hilton for us this morning. Antonia, thank you.